today we are going to fit this, which is a Bell C 12.3 um, screen into this. My FJ. Okay, we're going to install the um, navigation sensor. That pulls up. Give it a be firm with it. It just kind of snaps out. I've already pre, pre loosened these. So, what you got next is this. It's just a small screwdriver. Push in. Hopefully, you can see the connector. Here's the connector. You want to just push in a little bit and it just pops out. So, now what I'm going to do is drill a hole just here, just a small hole for the wire, for the sensor to pass through. About there, I reckon. Whoops. I'm not trying to force it, so I'm just letting the drill do its work. Yep, there you go. So now you can just feed it down to this hole. And it comes through. Put this wire down here. Pull it through. Ten millimeter socket. We're gonna put the sensor here. Wrap the wires. Voila! The sensor is installed. Next, we're gonna run the mic. I'm gonna put it kind of here above the steering column. So that's where I put it. And then I ran just under the console behind to here. This is my original face. I want to talk about these switches. If you own an FJ, you're familiar with these switches. This ribbon, you, t you disconnect to make these two switches work. Passenger airbag and whether or not the key's inserted. So this ribbon, well, there's some black tape on the Belsey head unit and underneath this black tape, hopefully you can see it, there is a socket for this ribbon. Basically all you do is when you're taking this part out, just to disconnect these two switches, pull the circuit board, disconnect the ribbon and connect it to the ribbon socket underneath this black tape. By the way, you don't have to take this to bits. There's a bunch of tabs around on the original. You'll see these tabs. Pull them out. There's one screw here. You'll see it down here that you need to undo from here, from this screw here. So undo that. You pull the whole thing out once you've disconnected the tabs. Pull the whole thing out. After you've disconnected the ribbons, obviously. Push it in here, the same tabs, same screw hole. Disconnect that, blah. These plugs come with the head unit. Uh, they fit perfectly into the FJ Cruiser loom or wiring harness. If you notice, they look identical apart from this one, this lock pin is in the center. This lock pin is at the bottom. 
So it's impossible to screw the connections up. Once you've plugged these in, you plug these into the back of the head unit. So that's what we're gonna do now. There. They are in. Okay. It helps if you put the truck into four wheel drive, that way you've got room to plug this in. So. Top stereo. And this one. Connected. Then all the big button controls go here. Connect the radio. Connect the navigation set. Whoops. Navigation sensor. Connect the mic. That's in. The Belsey unit comes with two USB ports. One is a plug in, it's just a small connector that goes to a USB female and that snaps in there. So I just ran a USB cable into the glove box and it's coming out underneath and now we're gonna plug it into the back of the head unit. Like I said, it's got two USB ports. There's two. Now, here we go. I'm gonna install a video backup camera and a rear view camera at some point. But let's see if we can make this fit. Some of this is kind of awkward because you got to, even though the wires are wrapped up, it's still a pain in the neck because you got to move them all backwards. But there's the top. It's a tight fit, huh? There's a click, it clicked. So, as far as fitment goes, it's a bit different to the original unit. You can see that it's budding up against the air conditioning line. But, the cool thing is, Um, these still fit and click in. Neat and tidy. Let's do the knobs. Okay, the knob. Start the car, let's see what happens. And it's on. We have life. I'm filming this with my iPad because I couldn't show you if I was filming with the phone. So you can see this Belsi unit, uh, you don't need the dongle. It's already got um, CarPlay installed on the software. If you want to access volume from here, you just 
go here. Oh, no, I just did the wrong one. Now it's gone dim. Pull down. Volume. There. Um, well, anybody familiar with iPhones and CarPlay, this is CarPlay. So, end of story. Let's brighten the screen back up again. I'm assuming since it's an Android uh, gadget that it's got Android Auto Play built in too. But since I don't use Android, um, I'm not sure. But uh, it it's, looks amazing. So what are you going to do? It's great. I recommend it to FJ users. Anyway. There you go.